Hey everybody, I just wanted to do a quick little video on maintaining your straps because that is every bit as important as maintaining your knives in my opinion. Um, and you're not really able to do that if your strap is all caked with little microscopic metal pieces. So you have to be able to remove those. And what I use for that is this little tool that if I remember correctly came in my strap and slip set from Sean Hellman from Woodland Craft Supply. Um, and basically it's just a piece of metal in a slot and a piece of, I believe this is oak, and the idea is that you get a, a sharp wire edge on both of these sides and you scrape off, you know, the unwanted material from your strap. And it's literally that easy. You can do it both directions. You can use both sides. But as you're doing this, just like it takes material off of your knife, it also takes material off of your scraper. And your scraper will not work if it does not have that wire edge on it. So this is how you get all the material off your strap. And I never get this perfect. I'm not trying to get it to look like brand new leather. Um, but I'm trying to get as much of that metal out of there as possible. And now, just from doing that, this is a, this is a fairly smooth edge here. This side a little bit less. be good enough but this is now dull and that's as quick as it happens um, you might have to do this every single time you do your straps and that's that's perfectly fine we'll pop this out of the vise we'll throw this in here and I believe I think it was David Tweedale that that had a video on on Facebook which is how I learned how to do this and I think he was using card scrapers like a, um, what do you call them you know, cabinet scrapers. I have a set of those as well. And this is probably going to make some horrible noise. This is a Nicholson bastard file. And what you want to do is perpendicular to this cutting edge at an angle, you want to bring that down to a 90 degree angle on both sides of this. So forgive the noise. <laughs> that same angle the whole way across and you want to get both of those round corners off and get them to 90 degree the closer you get this to 90 degree the better the next step will turn out for you and this feels pretty good matter of fact that already created a little bit of a wire edge which is perfect um, then I want to take this which is a burnishing tool um, it's by crown tool made in Sheffield, England. These are amazing tools. Um, I, I almost don't want to say this because I'll probably catch some, some flack for it, but most tools made in the UK, in my opinion, have, have excellent steel, are, are made by really good makers and are worth buying. Um, I like to buy from America whenever I can. I'm, I'm a patriot just as much as the next guy, but that's not to say that somebody doesn't do it better somewhere. So I tend to buy whoever does the best job if I can. All right, so perpendicular to your cutting edge, 90 degrees to it, you want to turn your burnishing tool and then angle it slightly. And in one motion, take it edge to edge and apply a good amount of pressure. And that will raise up, I don't know if you can hear this, that will raise a wire edge on this side. And you can feel where you're going to need to apply more pressure and make a couple more passes, possibly. That's pretty good right there. And we want to turn this around and do the same thing to the other side. So 90 degrees, slightly angled, and tilt it. Um, David's going to know the, uh, the angle in relation to the cutting edge of this better than I do. I don't, I'm not great with angles, to be totally honest. Um, I just do it by, by look, by feel. If I feel it's starting to work, like I can feel that cutting edge, I can feel that wire edge. That's actually already done. That's, this whole thing's done now. That's how simple it is. 
I wish I could get this to pick up on camera, but there is no way it's going to happen. But there is a, a uh, wire cutting edge along this edge and one along this edge too. Should be able to hear them both. This isn't perfectly smooth like you might think it is. But that's it. And now, you know, if I want to take this strap here and clean this one out, this should do an even better job than, than I was able to do on this strap. And it just cuts that material away. That's all just metal that's sitting in the leather. Metal and compound mixed together. So when you're strapping your knives, you're trying to take a little bit of metal away. You don't need to add any, so you want to get as much of this out of your uh, out of your strap as you can. And as you can see, it's coming off really nice. Now this wouldn't be cutting at all if this edge was smoothed over, which which happens fairly quick in my opinion. But you should be able to get this down to almost bare leather fairly quickly. And I can tell the side's cutting a little bit better. See, and that's much better. And I'll show you the pile I was left with. That's all the metal particles and you know mixed with compound and probably probably little microscopic bits of leather as well but you don't want that on your strap and so that's how you're going to maintain it that's it um, you can you can quite easily make these i'm not sure what kind of steel uh you would have to use if it'd be something fancy or just scrap metal or whatever i mean you might be able to use soup can metal for all i know but this is what i have from sean hellman and his does a great job and this will last a really long time so um I, I like to promote other other people that are, you know, in the green woodworking community as well. So if you want to head on over to, to Sean Hellman's website and check out what he's got. He's got more than just sharpening kits, but I own his and I use his pretty much exclusively um, along with a, a couple items that I've made myself. Like I said, this is just a hardwood paddle with uh, leather on it. And I've zipped the edges off on my table saw to, to true it up and everything. But um, yeah, so hopefully this was able to teach you guys something So you keep your straps uh nice and maintained and, and they'll do a good job for you and then your knives will do even better. So like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.